How's it going? My name is Dallas aka Infernest. I don't know what that was. And welcome to a video where I'm going to be seeing if I could just upload this from the oldest operating system ever made. And that's not true at all. It's called Windows 95. It was released, uh, predictably, in 95. And it was a Windows op operating system, which is similar to Windows 10 or, you know, any other normal operating system that you have. Except the difference is, well, it kind of looks like this. So, uh, well, it's quite simple to actually do this. We don't actually need to have a Back to the Future type, uh, vehicle to go and, you know, go back in time to do this. I happen to have one all set up here. If you think it's just easy to just all of a sudden set up Windows 95, like, oh, you could just download it. No, it's not easy. You really have to go through a whole lot of shizer just to get there. So we're going to start it up and, uh, well, I basically have the whole thing set up, as I said. We're going to just demonstrate to see what it looks like around here. Uh, for some reason it popped up over there. But, uh, yeah. So, how this is going to work is, I'm going to have all this video recorded here, and then I'm going to transfer the files into the Windows 95, and then we're going to do our best to access YouTube through Windows 95. I'm going to let you guess what this password is, and if anyone can guess, I'll pin you in the comment section. Nah, probably not, actually. It's a little bit inappropriate. Okay, what the heck is happening? All right, so as we can see, we are on the desktop of the oldest operating system that is basically still known by anyone today. And, uh, yeah, it's looking real fresh. Uh, not much to do here except maybe play tic-tac-toe with myself. It's pretty much everything that you'd ever expect. Now, specifically, of course, we can't just use basic Windows 95 because, well, it's very not compatible with the internet that we see today. So I had to download a few programs in order to make it work, in order to make it so that some, some of the newer fonts could actually be able to be loaded into the internet. Now, speaking about the internet, it's time to go back in time and install Get Connected. Welcome to internet. This is a brand new technology. We know it's gonna knock your socks off. But here's some examples of websites that might actually end up working. Uh, like for example, google.com might work if we go there. And uh, well, what do you know? We have Google. <laughs> the best way we can display Google uh, in 30 years ago, apparently. Pretty much looks like I'm about to go Google searching on my Nintendo DS, my Game Sphere, or GameCube. Sorry, I'm stuck in my childhood sitcom show mind. So, as you can see, 2021, uh, copyright 2021 Google. And as you can see, we could search up anything, like we could search up, and this is gonna be really interesting because it's gonna be very important later on. What we're gonna do is basically try to transfer a simple video file from my main computer into here and then upload it to YouTube. The only two websites we're gonna need for that is just YouTube and then some kind of uploading service. So as you can see, I have the results for my, uh, my stuff, uh, in very high quality stuff. We can actually go to dropbox.com, and, uh, here we go. There we have it. Dropbox. Uh, now all we need to do is just switch quickly over to my main computer and transfer this video. Now I was working on this one specific video for quite a while and I think it's kind of interesting. It's, well, without any better way of saying it, pretty thick. I guess you could say this is some form of a test. Uh, I would just email this to myself, like we can go to uh, new message through mail and stuff like that. Um, but it doesn't really do it. <laughs> It turns out that downloading the file straight from the internet through Dropbox is actually quite simple. All you had to do is just create a download folder and pretty much just teach the computer how to download things using another plugin, which was a better file browser. Just like that, I could actually access the file, which was created on Windows 10, now being able to be played on Windows 95. I guess you could say this is some form of a test. Now, of course, as we know, YouTube has a way of automatically so maybe it's not exactly the definition of caught in 4K, even though the video actually is 8K. This very well might be the first 8K video that's ever been played on Windows 95, ever. It's only 8K in like one direction though, of course. I also decided to try to transfer another special video file onto this ancient computer, just for the sake of seeing if it would work. For some reason, it ended up being kind of hard to see because of the resolution, so if you are far away from your screen, maybe just come a little bit closer and just take a better look at it for yourself.
I'm just one step away from being able to do this. All you gotta do is just access YouTube, of course. No one watching this video is even probably as old as what I'm looking at right now. Turns out you can't just use Internet Explorer 30 years ago in order to uh, access YouTube. What's a web page? Something ducks walk on? Ha ha, very funny. You need to use a whole nother cutting edge uh, browser. This was basically like the Google Chrome of, of this generation. Now of course we can go to things like YouTube using this, uh, and surprisingly enough, as you can tell, it works pretty well. YouTube.com works. I hope. <laughs> is it gonna is it gonna actually load? It's looking like it's having some trouble, but it's it's doing something. So it looks like we have the uh, basic layout of YouTube going here. It's as good as it's going to get, in my opinion. So it it says that this browser will soon not be supported. What they mean by soon is, I guess, the same thing that when you say, I'll talk to you tomorrow to your friend on Xbox Live. It looks like we can actually upload a video here. The only problem which makes this very slow is the fact that YouTube Studio doesn't actually have the same amount of security features, and therefore it takes a longer amount of time. So, immediately we have an error. Uh, improve your experience. Uh, you're using a browser that's not correct. All right, uh, well, we're just gonna skip straight to the YouTube studio anyways, because I don't give a frick. Okay, so at this point, I'm just going to have one screen showing the YouTube Studio live updating on Windows 10. Second screen, it's going to be YouTube Studio on Windows 95 while this thing currently uploads. And uh, this is like extremely weird looking like through a portal of time. Uh, this is really not taking that long because it's actually just connected to my Wi-Fi, which really just speeds everything up in this whole process. This thing doesn't even have a full gigabyte of like power to it. You can't even play Minecraft on this. A bonsai buddy just jumps out of a corner that I really don't, I won't appreciate it. Okay, and it looks like it's uploaded. I guess and you could say is. this is some form of a- Right on my dashboard. The very- Uploaded from Windows 95. That's cool. But you know what's even cooler? to upload this video in Windows 95. All right, so there it is. Uh, we can't play the video uh, because no videos work on Windows 95 through YouTube. It's just an actual miracle the site even loads. You can watch the video by checking the description and you could have your browser royally messed up. Watch at your own risk. You might damage your entire computer. But anyways, that is how you upload a video to Windows 95. I'll be uploading this video to Windows 95, it's going to be harder because it's going to be longer and therefore bigger of a file. If you are seeing this, that means it was successful. And I'll see you again 30 years later in the future. Goodbye.